No way, you traitor. Seriously? I always thought you were my sister and now this bombshell? I just scrolled through Insta and BAM! Your engagement announcement smacked me in the face. Did you even consider that I follow you, sis? It's like a total betrayal, you know? Are you really gonna do me like that? Betray you? How does my announcement betray you? Did I say something wrong or offensive? That's seriously offensive. Offensive to me, at least. I can't believe you would do this. You know how badly I want to get married. What do you mean? How do you not know? We've been sisters since forever. Do you really not remember anything about me at all? I'm starting to think we're not even sisters. You're going to have to fill me in. Oh, don't be stupid, Violet. You know how long I've wanted to get married. Oh, yeah. I guess you have said that a few times. A few times? It's like my whole thing. Hmm. I suppose you're right. You always enjoyed playing wedding when we were kids. And I've noticed you read every bridal magazine out there and constantly retweet wedding accounts. Wow. Yeah. I guess I never realized it. But you're totally obsessed with weddings. Exactly. I should be the one getting married before you. Are you seriously planning to have your wedding before I even get engaged? A true sister would know to wait. I can't believe you're thinking of marrying someone before I even have a ring on my finger. Is that really why you're mad? Of course it is. And it's coming from you of all people. You never showed any interest in getting married before. Whenever I wanted to play wedding, you'd always divert my attention to something else. Why the sudden interest now? Do you even care about it? I do care, I suppose, in a certain way. Not so much about the wedding stuff, but I do want to get married and have a lovely ceremony and reception. I care to that extent, at least, but ultimately, I just want to marry a good man. So you really don't care then? And you're getting married anyway, just to spite me. I'll never talk to you again if you go through with that. I'll cut all ties with you. What? Really? Are you really going to cut ties with me just because I'm getting married before you are? No, I'm not doing it out of my own will. You're making me do it. I can't be sisters with someone who prioritizes their own selfish desires over my dreams. What? How am I being selfish? I'm trying not to hurt you or anything. I just want to get married to my fiancé. Yeah, well, you are hurting me, whether you want to or not. I'm done being sisters with you if you're not willing to compromise. Enjoy your wedding. Isn't there some way we can work this out? I'm not sure. Perhaps there's a way we can figure this out. Since I'm feeling generous, I might give you one more chance to show your loyalty as a sister. What would I have to do? Oh, nothing much. Just let me be your maid of honor. If you do that, maybe I'll reconsider. Huh? Why? What do you get out of doing that? I guess we're sisters and all. But I was planning on having my best friend be my maid of honor. I've already thought about it quite a bit. If I become the maid of honor, I'll likely meet some attractive groomsmen or someone at the wedding. Plus, I heard your fiancé has sisters who are doing really well financially at the law firm where he works. Well, I suppose if it's up to you to help you find the love, it might not be so bad. But most of the guys in his group are his sisters from college. Some of them do make a bit of money, I guess. Then it's perfect. I'm sure I can find a husband who makes big bucks if I'm at your wedding party. Come on, girl. Let me help with this and we'll be even. It's just that this is sort of a lot of responsibility. You'd be in charge of a lot of planning for the bachelorette party and the shower. And my friend has a lot of experience with event planning. Not to mention she's already got a lot of things in the works. I don't really want to just have her give it all up when she's done so much already. What? I can plan a stupid bachelorette party. Are you saying I'm not able to do it? You clearly just don't want me to meet anyone at your wedding. You're being so selfish right now. I can't believe you. I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to be practical and fair. Whatever. I guess you really don't care about me after all. I should have known. Jeez, fine. I'll see what I can do. 
Just don't flick out at the last minute. And please show up to things. Of course. I'm so excited to meet all the cute guys. Hey, Justin. Did you get those dress pictures I sent you? Which ones do you like the best? I've tried on a bunch and I really just can't decide. Does it even matter what dress you wear? I have way more important things to worry about. Besides, none of those dresses will fit you in a few weeks if you haven't even started that diet I recommended. Why haven't you gotten on board with it yet? There's no point in all of this if you can't shed those 15 pounds before the wedding. 15 pounds is kind of a lot with how soon the wedding is. Well, you better get started then. What is this all about all of a sudden? I thought you liked how I look. This really doesn't seem like you. You never said anything about this in the past. Well, now that we're gonna be married, I think it's time for some brutal honesty between us. As my wife, I expect you to look and behave in a certain manner. I don't want you to appear like some overweight, unattractive disaster. So you better do whatever it takes to maintain appearances. My sisters, family, and other guests will all be seeing you at the wedding, some for the first time. You need to make a strong impression. I don't want people gossiping about how I ended up marrying some repulsive slob. Do you really think of me that way? And I've already lost a bunch of weight as it is. I've gone down at least two dress sizes and lost like 15 pounds since the start of the year already. I'm not sure if it's healthy for me to lose more than that. Yeah, well, you could stand to lose a few more. You're like a size eight, right? That's still big. I'm not gonna marry anyone higher than a six. Honestly, if you really wanted to be my wife, you should be at least a four. A four? I'd have to starve myself to get that thin. I don't have a model's frame. There's no way I can fit in a size four. Well, try. I just don't understand. I thought you really loved me. For me, not just how I looked. Did you really think that? I mean, you're fine, I guess. But I only date hot women, and I'm not going to marry someone who isn't hot. Haven't you seen my exes? I thought you'd have figured it out by now. Anyway, better get started. You don't have time to waste stuffing your face. I never thought you could be this mean. I'm not being mean, just being honest. The kid gloves are coming off. If we're going to get married, you better get used to it. There's no way this is really you. You were so nice before. What happened? What changed? Nothing happened. Nothing changed. I'm just being the real me. Anyway, I'm going to be spending the rest of the week with my sisters. I'll talk to you sometime soon, I guess. Get started on that diet, chubby. Gianna, where are you? The ceremony is going to start soon. There's barely enough time for you to do your hair and makeup. You already didn't show for the shower or the bachelorette party, but I expect you to at least be here today. Sorry, girl. I can't come to the wedding today. It's not like it matters anyway. There's not going to be much for me to do. What are you talking about? Are you not coming at all? Yeah, I'm good. I don't need to go anymore now that I've met someone. I was only going to be in your wedding to meet a groomsman. But now that I have a fiancé of my own, I don't have any reason to go. Fiancé? How? You weren't dating anyone a week ago. Oh, I've already met someone. And he's already agreed to marry me. So why should I bother going to your wedding? So who is this mystery man then? It's because Justin is with me right now. What? Are you serious? We've been searching for Justin for hours. We thought he was in an accident or something. Where are you? Why are you with him? What is this all about? Come on. Do I have to spell it out for you? Your fiance is with another woman on your wedding day. Surely you can figure out what that means. He has decided that he wants to marry me instead. I don't get it at all. Why? No. How is he going to marry you? And on the day of our wedding? The one with him and me? Are you really that dull? I stole him from you. It's as simple as that. Why would you do this to me? Well, I realized that it would be such a pain to have to meet someone. It's such a cliche anyway, finding a husband at a wedding. 
and all that stuff with the talking and the dating and the proposal. It's just also drawn out and boring. So I thought to myself, what's the fastest way to find myself a fiance and get married? And it came to me. Find someone else all ready to go. So Justin is going to marry you instead of me. You got it. It's way faster and easier than going through all of that other crap. And this way, I already know he's worthwhile, since you spent all that time vetting him for me. This definitely saves me way more time than having to sort through all those awful men. Are you really going to do this? Just steal my fiancé away from me without a care? All I care about is having my dream wedding. And anyway, I'm way more his type than you are. He's already told me about how you couldn't lose weight for the wedding. But I'm the perfect size already. I don't even know how you managed to get him in the first place. It seems kind of crazy that you'd managed to trick him into thinking you weren't anywhere near pretty enough for him in the first place. This feels unreal. I can't even begin to wrap my head around this at all. I know it's hard to believe, but you just have to face the truth. But Justin and I are going to get married today, no matter what happens. I'm sure it sucks for you, but I hope you're not too jealous of me. Fine by me. Huh? Well, if there's no avoiding it, then I'll just cancel the wedding. It won't take me long. What are you talking about? Are you just giving up without any fight at all? Why should I fight it? I just stole your fiancé from you. Are you going to do something about it at least? You should at least be a little bit angry. This is the part where you're like, no, give him back. You can't take him from me. And you cry and weep and I tell you no. Why would I cry and weep over Justin? I had a feeling he was going to pull something like this anyway. So thanks. You really just saved me a lot of money and time. What? Are you really thanking me for stealing your fiance? You're joking, right? No jokes here. I really am thankful. I was worried that I'd end up going through with it and have to deal with trying to annul it or even have to get a divorce. But now I don't have to worry about any of that. It's a good thing I decided we should wait to do the official license and everything until later. I'm just glad it's all working out so well. Wait, were you always planning on doing this? Well, no. I just had a bad feeling he would bail. So I made sure everything was ready in the event he did. I don't need him in my life anyway. The only thing he's good for is his money, but now he doesn't even have that to fall back on. He really is just good for nothing now. You can have him. Wait, why doesn't he have any money? Doesn't he have some great job? Of course he hasn't told you yet. That's not surprising. I guess you deserve to know before you marry him. He got caught stealing from his company and they fired him a few weeks back. He tried to hide it from me too but I managed to find out without him knowing. How did you figure it out? Well, he started acting kind of strange not long after we got engaged. He's a lot more irritable and way meaner. So I thought something was up. I asked around and managed to hear from a sister of his that he had gotten fired. He actually got fired the day we went public with our engagement. It was kind of a scandal too. Even his subordinates just got let go because of it. Is it really true? Yeah, it actually made the news and everything. It's not that hard to find. They kept his name out of it. But once I looked up his company, it was pretty easy to connect the dots. But surely he has another job already. After that, I'd be surprised if he ever works again. But he said he's making six figures. He was at his old job, but now it's closer to zero. There's no way. If you really don't believe me, you can just ask him yourself. Shouldn't be a problem since he's right next to you. Hey, why did you tell Gianna that I lost my job? It's not like some big secret. She was going to find out eventually anyway. I thought she should know before she decided to marry you for real. To be honest, I'm surprised you've kept it quiet for this long. Who still doesn't know? Have you even told your parents? Of course not. I don't want anyone to find out. Well, it won't matter that much, I guess. But it will matter to Gianna. You can't lie about not making six figures forever. Eventually, she'd have figured it out. So it's better she knows now, before it gets harder for her to get out of being married to you. 
How did you even find out? I did some digging. It wasn't that hard to figure it out. The day you told me I should lose weight, I started asking around about what happened to you. And I just happened to find an invitation for your high school reunion on your nightstand. You went into my room? I mean, we were going to get married. I figured it wasn't an issue. At the time, I just thought I should look it up since you hadn't told me anything about it. I guess I was just curious. So I started poking around the event on Facebook when I recognized the name I had seen a few days before. It was the name of one of your coworkers who apparently went to the same high school. As it turned out, he had been fired because of the scandal at your old company. So I got in contact with him saying I was your fiance and wanted to know what happened and if I should be worried. And long story short, he told me the whole thing. I'm not sure how you managed to keep your name out of the press. He was pretty impressed by that, even if he was mad at you for getting him fired. I can't believe he'd tell you all that. Oh, he was happy too. After all, you were the reason he got fired. I'm sure he'd tell everyone if he could. It really is a shame that I won't get to go to your reunion with you. A ton of your classmates are rich and successful lawyers and doctors with all these beautiful models for wives. It would have been great to get to know them a little better, but maybe it's for the best that we didn't bother. I'm guessing your jealousy over your classmates and their wives would probably only get worse. So we'd probably just end up divorcing anyway, since I doubt I'd be able to be quite that skinny. Whatever. You know, I'm glad I didn't bother marrying you, fatty. I deserve better. Just like all of my friends from high school. You clearly never cared about me anyway if you don't want to put in the effort to look hot like all their wives. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm not some rail thin beanpole hopped up on a diet pills, eating half a calorie every six hours to keep from fainting. Yeah, well, so am I. I wouldn't have complained if you put in some effort to slim down a little before the wedding. Slim down a little? You wanted me to be basically anorexic. Whatever. I'm better off without you. And now I'm with Gianna. She's way hotter than you'll ever be. And she cares about making me happy and giving me what I want. I bet she won't even mind if I just don't look for a job. She actually cares enough about me that she won't just leave. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Do you really think that she's going to stick around if you're poor? And I doubt you'll be able to go back to your old life now. Running away with her mistress on your wedding day is a good way to ruin your reputation. And you haven't even shown an ounce of remorse. I'm sure your parents are livid. No, I'm sure you'll hear from them soon. They've been out looking for you all day. Once they figure out what happened, I'm sure they all want to make sure you take responsibility for everything you've done, financially especially. Anyway, thanks for everything. Hopefully your parents find you soon so we can put this all behind us. I'm just gonna finish up dealing with everything here and go home for a nice long bath. Hey girl, do me a favor. Call off the lawyers, okay? I really can't afford to get wrapped up in a legal battle right now. And it's all my fault anyway. He tricked me into agreeing to all of this. I'm the victim here. You're telling me you stole my fiance on our wedding day and somehow you're the victim in all of this? Yeah, well, you're definitely a victim too. We're both victims here. I agreed to marry Justin before I found out that he was unemployed and he tried to hide it from me. If I had known before, I wouldn't have even bothered. He was trying to trap me before I could find out. None of that changes what you did. Just because you didn't realize he was rich doesn't mean that you're any less at fault. You're the one who stole him away. It's still your fault. Yeah, but I broke up with him basically immediately. Yeah, but not out of any charity towards me. You dumped him because he wasn't making money anymore. Please, Violet, please forgive me. I can't afford a lawyer. If they take me to court, I'm going to lose everything. I'm sure you can figure out a way to pay it off. It's only like $40,000 for wedding cancellation fees. And I don't need all of it back right away. Just be thankful that Justin will be paying for half. Are you really going to do this to me? We're sisters. Doesn't that matter to you at all? Let's just go back to how it was before this whole mess. You can forgive me and not stick me with all this debt and we can just forget about Justin and that any of this ever happened. Yeah, we're way past that. I don't think we could even go back even if we wanted to. You did do me a favor in getting me out of what was surely going to be a disaster of a marriage. 
but I don't think I can ever forgive you for trying to do that to me. I can't trust you to be my sister anymore. I'm sorry. All I wanted was to have my dream wedding to a rich man. I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. I just wanted to meet a guy and get married. Well, you should have thought about that before stealing someone's husband-to-be and getting married in such a hurry. Then maybe it'll still work out for you in the end. If you go back to Justin, I'm sure you'll meet plenty of doctors and lawyers. Do you really think so? Yeah. He has a lot of sisters from high school who are all doctors and lawyers and successful businessmen. All the kinds of men that seem just like your type. Lots of handsome men with chiseled features that make piles and piles of cash. Though, well, now with everything that's happened, I'm not sure it would all be that great of a time. You might have a bit of trouble finding someone if you're going to go to this reunion with him. I've heard most of his friends have abandoned him after he got busted for stealing. And it might be a little awkward for you to show up as his date. I guess it might not work out after all. What? Why did you even bring it up then? Did you really just want to get my hopes up just to cut me down? Oh no. I had just forgotten. You're lying. You should make it up to me for being so mean. The least you could do is give me some numbers. Just one of his old sisters is good enough. Oh, I don't know any of them. I just saw them on a Facebook group for his reunion. But there may be a way I could figure something out. What if I pay your expenses after all? It might take me a little while to drum up the money, but if you find me the right guy, maybe he can take care of it for me? No, I'd rather just have you pay it. You should take responsibility for ruining my wedding. I don't want you pawning it off on your rich doctor boyfriend or something. Wouldn't really be you paying then, would it? Justin and Gianna faced significant challenges in coming up with the funds for their wedding. They made numerous attempts to avoid taking financial responsibility for their actions. However, Violet stood her ground and ensured that they faced the consequences of their behavior. As a result, Justin had to deplete his savings to cover the wedding cost and eventually had to settle for a lower paying job to repay his debts. Finding suitable employment was challenging due to his involvement in an embezzlement scandal at his previous job. Eventually, he took on a small-time role managing a fast food restaurant. Gianna's situation was not much better. With fewer resources to rely on, she had to take on a second job to make ends meet. Her busy schedule left her with little time to meet potential partners for marriage. As a result, she remained single and unhappy, while her dream of a lavish wedding with a wealthy man becomes increasingly distant. In a surprising turn of events, Violet started dating Justin's former classmate, who had informed her about his termination. Initially skeptical, she discovered that he too had been unjustly fired due to being subordinate to Justin. Despite his lack of involvement, the couple had been happily dating for several months, and Violet's new boyfriend found employment at her company. While they have considered the possibility of marriage, Violet is currently tired of wedding-related matters. Nevertheless, she looks forward to seeing where their relationship leads.